G'day ladies and gentlemen, are you a travel and landscape photographer just like me? Well, I know the pain when you're out camping somewhere around the world, searching for light and power to charge those batteries in those cameras. Well, I think I found three products that's gonna change the way we get out there in the wilderness and capture those images. Make sure to stick around to find out what these are and roll that intro. G'day ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me for another vlog. Today I want to talk about three amazing products that is changing the way I get out there and camp and capture my images out taking the beautiful landscape and nature images that I do. Now the company Nick Court reached out to me and said, Matt, you're a great candidate for the type of photographer that we are after. I'm always searching for light and power to charge those camera batteries, to charge phones, GPSs, whatever it is, I'm traveling all around the world. When I was in Kyrgyzstan, we were in blizzard-like conditions, warm conditions, but I was camping for a month on end with Alex. The same went in Albania for another six weeks. We were just camping end on end, always searching for power. That was my biggest problem, how to charge my batteries. And you know what? I didn't capture some of the images that I wanted to capture because I was worried about using it for time lapse, something later on that I didn't want to miss out on. You know what? I don't want to miss out on any more images. That's why I want to take you through these three amazing products from Nikkor today, starting off with this incredible battery bank. This is an incredible 20,000 milliamps, giving me charge on my phone for about six times from dead flat to full and only weighing in at 320 grams. It comes with a USB-C, USB included, which is absolutely perfect because all my equipment charges off USB-C. I can charge my cameras, I can charge my audio setup, I can charge my phone, my GPS, whatever you think needs charging, I can do it with this 20,000 milliamp. It is a fast charge also, so I can chuck two cameras in overnight and get two fresh batteries when I wake up the next morning, which is absolutely fantastic because especially when you're out camping those freezing cold conditions, your batteries do deteriorate quite quickly. Now, another thing to note with this is also you can charge in via USB when you do those time-lapse photography. So if you are just heading out for a night trip and you're worried about getting those batteries replenished or deteriorated when you're out there, just chuck this in and you can charge basically all night long. It's equivalent. I've worked out with a Fujifilm X-T4 of having about 12 batteries stored in this little 320 grams. So sometimes now I've got one battery in camera and just this bad boy set up. So I never have to worry about having enough bloody charge in my phone, nothing like that. I carry this around all the time. It's absolutely perfect. The next one I wanna move on to is this LED light. Now I use this LED light for bloody everything under the sun apart from when the sun's up. This for me is an absolute game changer because not only is it a light that I can film with, I can cook with, I can do whatever I want with, it also has a power bank in it once again. That is right, I now have two power bank setups, one dedicated and one secondary if I need it. So this is basically another life-changing moment as well because you're always going to need light in case of a survival mission. I know that sounds crazy, but the sort of stuff that I do, I am out for five, seven, or 30 days, week on, week off. So light to me is very, very important. Now, why is this light so good? Previously, I've had a light set up from bowling. Now, this is a little different, I'll talk about in a second, but it did run out quite quickly. At 5%, this will last me 72 hours. That is right, you heard me, 72 hours. So three days straight of running this will just, just almost get rid of all the usage in it, which is absolutely incredible. Obviously, if you do use it as a power bank, it will suck that power out so you haven't got the light for it. But I use this for everything, cooking at the back of the van. If I'm inside reading a book, I can chuck it on one of those small ring arms and basically put it anywhere that I want. It is absolutely fantastic. When I'm out doing my nightscape photography courses, this is an absolute winner. It's the size of basically a mobile phone. It is bright as bloody anything, and it has a different Kelvin temperature, just from that warmer tones to the cooler tones, but it's all I need. That is an absolute beautiful thing. It has got a quarter inch in the bottom, and also does come with a little drive that you can basically move it over as a hot shoe also, which is very, very important. Once again, Nikkor include a USB charger in it once again. 
Also, it is fast charging and it also is fast charge overnight. So basically overnight, you have a fresh battery when you're showing it 240 volt, which is absolutely incredible. Now, this for me is one of the biggest game changers because I am always screaming out, as I said before, for power. Power, 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 give me power. And one of those things is for Fujifilm. I've complained with Fujifilm for a long time that the battery sucks. X-T4 is better, granted, I will give them that. But this little bad boy here, that is a dual USB-C charger. Now, I can get the 20,000 milliamp charger and this and charge two batteries overnight and, and it gets better with the other USB coming out of this, I can charge a camera. That is right, I can get three batteries charged when I wake up, ready for another vlog, another day of photographing. So that is an absolute game changer. And a really good thing about this is also, it's not just a battery charger, it does give an indication of your battery condition. So every time I plug it in, I check that my batteries are in good condition, tells me how hot they're running, how fast it's charging, how many watts it's drawing. That is a really cool feature. Just an additional feature that Nikko have done to get the best out of their ability. Now, like everything in this world, they aren't perfect. So getting back to the 20,000 milliamp, 324 grams might I add, lightweight, power charger. The one I had was quite rugged. It had a rugged case on the outside, so it can get mushed and dropped. This has been to over 50 countries around the world and is still working today. It's really bloody basic, but it works. And that's the main thing. This, I have to get the longevity out of it to find out how it is. It does seem very good build quality. It's obviously heavier than this because it does hold more. That's another thing I do. Little concern is that adventure style photography that I do, just to make sure it is a bit rugged and tough. So when I throw it around, drop it, and use it the way I want to use it, it's gonna give me the longevity. So that's the one question we have to answer out of this. Is it gonna last 50 countries like this one is and still going? The light. I spoke about the bowling light I had before. I've used this for a long time. One thing I love about the bowling setup is it does have that functional arm with a hot shoe on it. Now that can be a dysfunction as well because it is sort of in the way sometimes, but hey, it's there and I've used it quite a bit. This is a different hue saturation so I can go through any color I want, but when this is cold, it runs out very quickly. So that's one negative I don't like about it and it's only given me quarter the amount of runtime compared to the Nick Core and crazy enough, it hasn't even got a power bank built into it. So for the same price, you can get a power bank built in and four times the length of a bloody single charge out of the light. That to me is absolutely mind blowing for a very lightweight setup. But there are some negative, as I said. The first one being is that, that attachment of the arm. Pretty do flicky, funky, sort of not a great setup. I will. It's just like a bit of an add on a feature that's just like, let's chuck that on there. It doesn't work the best to my ability. I will be honest with you because it is off centered. Where this from bowling, any way you want to bloody use it, basically, it goes all the way around. It's just very functional, very versatile. So that arm setup is very well built, very well constructed, which I do particularly like. Now, another thing about the Nick Core setup, which I'm not a big fan of, is it hasn't got any casing. The bowling only gives me this little Velcro casing that fits away, but how I'm talking about a couple of hundred dollar lights, so I don't want to smash the front of that element. And if I'm just chucking that in the front of the car, it's not the best setup to look at. So like anything, it's not perfect. Just that additional case would have been absolutely perfect. And a little bit better arm to sort of attach it onto numerous things would be perfect. But I would probably go with a small rig setup, that multiversal, versatile arm to chuck it on basically wherever I want. But I would take that power bank inside of this light any day of the week and four times the amount of storage capability out of that light. And the negative about the charger, nothing. Nothing at all. I've never had something like this before where I can charge as a fast charge, dual USB setup. I'm talking about charging two batteries in three hours, 20 minutes. Three hours and 20 minutes to charge two batteries, guys. That is absolutely ridiculous. And I bring, I bring the power socket with me. That is absolutely incredible and it's an absolute lifesaver. I never have to worry about missing images again or worrying about when or when not to take them. So this is absolutely incredible. There's one thing that I could highly recommend, it is this USB charger, because I could be in Europe, it'll still work. I could be in America, 
it can still work because it's USB and doesn't rely on a power socket into 240 or 220. So guys, those three features from Nikkor, small, but give me so much versatility. I can be charged my girlfriend's phone, my phone, my GoPro, my cameras, my GPS, my phones, my everything else that I can bloody think of by USB-C. If that runs out, I've got a safety light with a power bank built in and I can bring this home and charge my batteries. It's like this for me is an absolute winner. But guys, make sure to subscribe to this channel because this bowling light, I will be giving away to one of my members over on my website. So please make sure to drop below and subscribe or go to my Facebook and subscribe to that because I'll be releasing a huge, huge membership course in 2021. I'll be giving away products by the bloody week. That is how much I love you guys for appreciating and supporting my channel. That's a little way I can give back through education and some products that I can highly, highly recommend. So this will be going to someone in the next couple of months, so please make sure to subscribe for that below. Because that is me done for today. I can be out camping anywhere in the bloody world right now because I've got power and I've got light. I've got full safety, and that's what I absolutely love about that. But guys, make sure to get out there, keep creating, keep inspiring, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.